The HIV AIDS epidemic presents a great problem to the population of all of Africa. Despite the fact that Uganda has managed to decrease the number of infected people, thousands still die every year from the disease. The situation is gravest in the slum areas. In this part of the Eastern Kampala slums, the Red Cross has identified and unified this group of women, all infected with HIV. They're offering them social support and a sense of community. The focus is to eliminate the stigma and shame related to the disease. Uh, sometimes even it, you have some problem when you come to, to your friend, which you are together with the Red Cross, in the Red Cross group. Mm. And you can get a lot of ideas, because you know the ideas can help you. Yeah. Eh? When you are alone, you cannot be okay. But when you go to your friend like you, I came to you, you give me the idea. You be like this, be like this. Wherever you are sick, you can get cured from there. So I think that is what I can say about the Red Cross. We are happy with it. In this backyard, the group of women meet and discuss business plans. This is all a part of Red Cross project where the women are offered microloans to start off their own sustainable ways of supporting themselves. The loans are often small in size, but with the right support they are able to survive by their own force. It is a kind of revolving loan, mm -hmm. so you pay back. We give you, you, maybe when I give you 200 or three, well, 150, mm -hmm. after three months you have to bring back. Yes. The others again will, 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 will get like that. Mm. Okay, we are in Two examples of what women receiving these loans are doing is the buying and selling of charcoal for heating and the making of beads for jewelry. Unawareness of the dangers of HIV is still great among some groups of the society. One group that has been spreading the virus quicker than others is the one of Boda Boda riders, the motorcycle taxis of Kampala. Uh, sometimes I get a girl like you, you told me take me to Chin Chinawataka. Reaching there you check your pocket, you check your pocket, you know my I don't have money now. Now, whatever. Now, what can I do? Maybe I can. Hey, now you know. Hey, now that temptation, you you found yourself that you enter in the temptation when you don't have what condom. The Red Cross has identified this group and has educated HIV preventers or informants amongst them. Mm, they listen very carefully, and some of them they say. Condom is very expensive. We don't see where we can get condoms. Mm. Sometimes condom get finished. Even in a Red Cross, you need the mm. condom. There is no condom. Mm. That's a problem we get. Problem. The same problem is seen amongst the fishing communities surrounding Lake Victoria. These men often travel by boat to different parts of the lake while working and encounter many prostitutes along the way. In this village by Lake Victoria, a group of fishermen and women selling fish have decided to take up the fight against HIV. They inform other fishermen about the dangers of the disease and on how it spreads. The Red Cross has realized that the best way to reach out and affect people spreading HIV is using informants within their own groups. These are but some of the many ways the Red Cross operates in Uganda. <laughs>